Hey guys, I'm Ryo Takahashi. I'm a cinematographer, director based in Tokyo, Japan. So today I'm gonna be talking about breakdown of my past work. This is the number two of this series. So let's get started. So take a look at this picture. This is super, you know, <laughs> an exhausted project, but uh, it's kind of fun because this project, entire project, uh, I I should handle by myself. I mean, uh, this is a one-man band type job. I picked up my gear from the airport and um, uh, to the location by this kind of band <laughs> by myself. The place is like this, so there are many stuffs around there, so we couldn't bring the gears and uh, many, uh, you know, tripods in this location, so I picked my purple tube and then bring the purple tube to this location, so this works super well. I want to explain that these three scenes in this location. So this is a first wide view scene and uh, I shoot the artisan uh, in this location. He creates the artwork by ceramics kind of things. So his artwork is so unique. So I want to express his emotion and, uh, in this entire project is kind of branded film. But this is the documentary so uh, there's no interview voices behind these scenes so i want to explain his emotion i should express his feeling his emotion into the artwork so i shot this i super close-up shot creating the artwork by his hands so these scenes are that i want to explain in this video this is the overview of this uh, lighting setup this location is super limited resources so i decided to use sunlight as a key light but um there are three windows if i um all three windows open up the blinds it's so bright and then um, too shiny so i want to create some cinematic image so i want to block these two windows by using the, these blinds I can, you know, block these earlier sunlight. Then I open up this one window and then we can shape the, this nice sunlight toward his, this, uh, his light side, right? So natural light coming from this side and hits his light side. And um, this brings some nice key light for this scene. And then I put the negative fill for this uh, frame light and then this makes some nice contrast of this frame light sh shadows right but this uh, room is a little too dark so I placed a non light purple tube here and then this makes nice edge light and then spread to the these room area so this creates some room tone and some kind of edge light for this uh, scene. So take a look. So I'll go back to this scene. So you can see a little tiny edge light here. And then you can feel little, you know, little bring up the uh, brightness of this scene, right? So this is from the purple tube light. And I change this practical light bulb to the aperture 7c right because this light is kind of old before i change this bulb to the aperture so it's a little flickering and it looks the color is a little bad so i replace this light to the my aperture 7c and i set the white balance is to the maybe 3200 or the uh, 2700 Kelvin. Sorry, uh, I forget the precise number, precise uh, Kelvin number, but uh, I find the sweet spot by using the smartphone application and I looked at the monitor and um, I decided to set the maybe the, this Kelvin because this entire loom tone is the kind of green. So I want to create some orange feeling light because this makes nice cinematic color. So yeah, I want to do, I want to, you know, create some nice 
practical light for this scene, right? So this wide shot is like this. And I didn't change anything. And I changed my uh, lenses to the more for the closing up shot. Then I shot this scene, right? So this scene basically is the same. The natural sunlight coming from and I hit frame left. And then this is a key side. And then I put my negative fill a little more closely uh, to his face. And then this makes some kind of black. So this is super nice cinematic contrast for this scene, right? And then go to the another scene. This is kind of basically the same. I natural light coming from this side and I hit his frame left side, right? And then this is the, as you can see, this is the window, but it's blocked by blinds. And I move my pop tube a little closely, more closely, uh, his hand, and because it's too dark about this light side. So my pop tube light hit this light side and then create some contrast and then bring more uh, tones um, this uh, scenes. Okay, so again, this is uh, we ended up set up is here. I used one natural key light and I hit toward his this frame left side and then I changed the angle. I can get the wide shot and then close up shot from this spot and then move toward this side and we can get more, you know, close up shot of his hand and scene. Okay, so this is what it is. Okay, so the the thing is, uh, maybe this Aperture 7C Practical is super nice. And this is actually the first time to use, uh, you know, in the documentary shooting. So this Aperture Light C has no uh, interfaces. So we have to use the smartphone application that provides from Aperture. I tested a lot, but I on the location and then it's we need move quickly it's a little you know stressful to change the values kind of things but yeah it works well and uh, i can move the intensity and um white balance by myself from my smartphone it's super convenient to use in these kind of situation so i recommend you bring the aperture light and to the location and uh, you can put the anywhere and uh, you can replace this light to the good lighting super nice i use the aperture 7c as the behind my this youtube channel you can see this light and um, this light right yeah so yeah, documentary shooting is kind of fun for me because it happens kind of the happy accident and um, many people are the first time be a part of the CDS shooting, like a you know artisan. And, um, they are they always they're focusing on create their own artwork, so they have no idea to shoot and, and um, you know taken the videos by other people. So firstly. They are so nervous to be part of this project, but gradually they saw the you know the footages I shot, and then they said, "Wow!" And um, this is not my, this it looks not my actual place. So so gorgeous. So maybe this is super, you know, the nice uh, result of the uh, cinematography. So I wanna do this kind of documentary shooting, my future. So yeah. It's kind of fun. So thank you for watching. I hope this video helped your filmmaking. So I wanna keep going, keep creating this kind of um, BDS video in my channel. So thank you for watching, bye.